If it wasn't for my knee, I'd walk this way here. And this is the best trail and the most highly used trail. But I can't do it because it's wet and it's got that sharp angles at the other end right over there. And I, I just can't do that. So it's through the briar patch. Okay, here's electric fence. All right, I can go around the briar patch. That's something I've been feeling better. My health is getting better and better. Ever since it ripped the last time, it ripped down inside here. And, and the stomach, that surgery came loose, and now I can eat. It's the first time since about 1985 that I've been able to eat without being in severe pain, having food getting stuck, and going into life-threatening situations. And that's the way my life has been for years and years and years. And these doctors just aren't doing their job. They're not recorded. They want to shut you up right away. They don't have time to listen to you. So that's what's making me mad. This medical system is designed to keep you sick, is to give them a lot of money and a cush job. They think since they spent all that work in college that it's going to be a cush job. They just get money after that. Just sign a bunch of papers and give a bunch of people a bunch of drugs. They don't have to use the knowledge. They don't have to think. But it takes the knowledge to get you healthy. But they learned to give you drugs instead. That's what they did to me for years and years and years. The Veterans Administration was giving me drugs, drugs, and the drugs were causing me super bad problems, real bad problems. I couldn't remember anything. I'd get lost. All, every time I'd drive anywhere, I'd get lost. I couldn't remember where anything was in the house. And they said, oh, you got these problems, you need, you need more drugs because of that. They're giving me drugs for the symptoms of the drugs. Turns out I got a metal fag fragment in my stomach, in my abdomen. It's stuck in a diaphragm. This metal fragment is sharp, and it cuts me when I bend. And they said it's bipolar disorders because I pick up a motorcycle engine, move it a couple feet, twist my body, set it down, and what happens, it rips me. It cuts me inside, and then 15 minutes later, I'm laying on the floor, I can't get up. They said that's severe bipolar disorders. They say I have acid reflux disease, and that's what the pain is in my stomach. They did this for 20 years. Every time I try to get something corrected, they call me a liar in my reports, and I'm not joking. They, they said terrible, terrible things. And uh, there's gonna be big trouble for the VA and these doctors. There's big trouble coming, and there's no way to stop it. I was in the military. I got hurt in a line of duty. I have metal fragments inside me, and the doctors for 20 years, it's been for 40 years, really, said it's been nothing but acid reflux disease. The nitwits, you walk into a room, and the guy walks in, he's a nice guy wearing a tie, he's smart. How you doing? Great, what's wrong? He says, okay, you need these drugs. That fast, I'm not joking. You've done it yourself. But I've been going to the doctor some years, over 100 appointments in a year for 40 years. I have 15 or 16 operations on my stomach and they still can't get it right. They messed up the operations. They didn't see that the surgeries came loose. They didn't see that the staples were broken and the staples are damaged and over compressed. Not one doctor, not these x-ray technicians, these x-ray super doctors that read the x-rays and give the reports, they couldn't see that. And here I look at it myself, here it is, a metal fragment. And I had to take it to the doctor and show him the x-ray that he looked at and there's a metal fragment pointing right at the camera. He is too lazy to zoom in. Every one of them were too lazy to zoom in. And they said, you got mental disorders, it's not your stomach. You need drugs. 
And that's what they do, they give you drugs. I'm gonna to go to the point over here. Okay, we're gonna go this way, Julian.